Hey, so today we're building a cruiser skateboard with the Paul Peralta reissue deck, the Stevie Cap model. And I figured I got inspired a bit by the old school skating from the 80s and from the 90s. Really like Stevie Caballero, Tony Hawk, those now really old guys. Really like the decks, always wanted one, and I figured why not build one? So let's get to it. But I guess first we're gonna need some stuff. Okay. Let's go over the setup just a little bit to show you what I'm going to throw onto this deck. It's going to be a bit of a mix of late 80s skateboarding and some longboarding parts actually. I've recently gained some good interest in longboarding and all that kind of stuff and that maybe shows in the setup I've chosen now. I'm not going to go with the regular Indy 159s or 169s. like. Many people would put on a deck like that. I actually decided to go with reverse kingpin trucks, the caliper 44 degree base plate in white. Just gonna see how that's gonna work out. I'm gonna mount some half inch soft risers to get some extra clearance for those pretty big wheels I'm gonna put on. Well, they're not pretty big. They're only slightly bigger than what most people would put on a deck like that. I would say most people put on, well, the time appropriate or period appropriate rat bones. These are usually 60 millimeters, if I'm not wrong. I decided to go with the Fatty Hogs 78A durometer, 63 millimeter, and super wide contact patch. If you can see that, they're like 50 millimeters wide. And yeah, they match really nicely with the colors of the DAC. Um, which actually is the next part, next part I'm going to show you. I decided to go with the Stevie Cab reissue. The Chinese Dragon, the, the silver deck with the orange yellow dragon and the, the red writing. Looks pretty cool in my opinion, I'm a big fan of Stevie, so why not go for that one. Also silver on top with the, well, the red dragon here. And we're gonna go with, uh, I got a mini logo grip tape, already cut it in two pieces because I'm gonna leave a cutout for the red dragon on top. Then a few more things, um, I'm gonna put on some rib bones, actually I write those on my normal street setup and well, people had them in the 80s, so why not put them on? I think I'll actually have to do some bending since I'm going to mount them outside on the outer rim and not just go put them on straight so they're covering up half the graphic. So yeah, but they're quite flexible so they should be quite easy to bend. And then for the tail, I got this nice, uh, also from Paul Peralta, the tailbone, same color as the, as the ribs. I got some hardware from Loaded, those yeah, flange head Allen key, one and a half inch bolts. And then for the bearings we're going, I'm trying out these Zealous ceramic bearings. I've never tried the brand itself, but I've read a bunch of pretty good reviews and I want this board just to roll easy and roll fast, so why not go for that? And the last thing of the setup, that's actually also something I have to try out. I discovered since in the past 10 years I've gained a few kilos and Regular bushings and trucks don't hold up to my weight anymore, so I figured why not put harder bushings in right away. I do that in my in my street setup as well. I ride indie trucks and there I put the, the hardest, the yellow indie bushings in. And for these um, caliber trucks, I figured why not go for the orangutan nipples. Insert all the, the funny puns about harder nipples and perky and firm nipples here if you want so. So now that we got that one out of the way, I think that's about it, about the whole setup. Of course we're also gonna put some stickers on it, mostly from the 
either the places I bought all the stuff from or them, brands I like, however. Let's start building this bad boy. So to begin with, before we put on the grip tape, I figured it might be nicer to drill the holes for that tailbone first. Yes, flip it over. So, as you see, for gripping it, I put a few mats under this table because whenever you do a grip job, when you like go around the edges with a screwdriver or a file, you're gonna get a lot of material from the grip on the table and then you're moving your deck around it and you might end up scratching your graphics so we're trying to prevent that one a little bit here. Fast forward to this. This already looks pretty decent. I think the cutout came out quite well. Surprisingly, a fresh new blade cuts around the edges really well. That looks good. Let's punch some holes for the trucks and then and for the tail puck, and then we'll continue. Some people like to use the truck bolts to punch holes through, but I've always done it like that. I always use a little screwdriver, pinch it from the bottom first, then from the top again. Wiggle it around a little bit. If you're wondering about the squeaky noise in the background, that's just Harvey the dog. He doesn't feel bad or have any problems. He's just upset because his favorite ball went under the couch again and he can't get it. I think we have to take a little break and get the ball from under the couch. How did you get it all the way back there? I guess all the other dog owners agree that a back scratcher is the best tool to get dog balls. <laughs> dog balls. Balls for dogs back from under the couch. Hop up. Here's the gentleman that wanted to interrupt this video. Harvey, say hi. What do you think about the skateboard? You're afraid of skateboards. He is. All right, let's continue. All right, so now that we got the grip on and the tailbone on, um, I think next step would be to actually not mount the rib bones because I need a little bit of a reference point as to where the trucks are gonna be. So we're first going to mount the trucks. Man, loaded hardware just comes in the nicest little package. Look at that. Isn't that just nice? Let's get our skate tool. 
and then let's get mounting. I got soft risers to make the ride even a bit more smooth, I would say. If those super soft wheels don't do the trick by themselves. But yeah, it's mainly also just to get clearance for the bigger wheels. So I don't get any wheel bite. The devil of riding a skateboard. It's so weird to put trucks the other way around. It's the first time I'm actually trying out reverse kingpin trucks. But we'll see. First time for everything. look pretty good already. I thought I would go with the well white trucks, white rail, white tail puck. Actually the bearings are have white dust shields as well so I guess we're going for a kind of a color concept here. Um yeah I think just about now we can put on the uh, the rails and I'm going to try to bend them around the lettering here and all the way down here. They are quite flexible and should be possible. And I recommend drilling those screws that come with the set in by hand because some people like to pre-drill those holes with a small drill or something but I don't know at least in my street board those screws ripped out a few times or a few of them so it might be wiser to not pre-drill so the screws have a bit more meat to grab onto. That was a bit exhausting, I gotta admit, but it does look quite sweet. Alright, <clears throat> let's get to the final part of the setup. Wheels and bearings and bushings. So let's set up those nice, wonderful orange-yellow twirl fatty hogs up first. can see. And actually when you look at them they're not perfectly flat but I guess that's gonna just improve the soft ride and make them roll really well. They are also not center set they're a little bit offset so this is a bit deeper. That's what's probably going to make them stick out a little bit from the from the trucks but I guess we'll see. Let's put those on.
think it looks pretty sick. Wow, the, those colors go together really well. Yeah. Um, last thing to do is change out the bushings, and I think then we're all set to go outside and ride. If we wouldn't live in Finland where there's still snow and ice outside. I'm gonna tighten the trucks basically as they came from the factory because well you have to adjust it while you ride anyway that's what I'll do normally I put a few more stickers on my decks but on this one I tried to keep it nice and clean because the graphic of the deck itself is pretty nice the only stickers I put on are from Sigboard's shop Tito's skateboard shop and Paul Peralta Unfortunately, the weather outside and the streets are still full of snow, ice and gravel due to the weather here in Finland, but I hope I get to ride it outside soon so I can provide some more insights as to how it rides, but for now the hallway in my apartment building has to serve for that purpose. The first few up and downs on the hallway felt pretty good, rides really smooth and turning has uh, takes a little bit getting used to because the wheelbase is so short and the tail is so friggin long but it's it feels very very nice like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this thing I believe <laughs> <laughs> 